Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright, guys. We are here with another episode of the Christian Horn, my career, my player, whatever, on NBA 2K12. And today we're going to get started with our very first game of our career. Our very first game as a professional NBA player as the Wizards will take on the Brooklyn Nets. Wait, no, I think in this game it's the New Jersey Nets, which is since changed to Brooklyn. And I gotta apologize real quick because I've had this video recorded for a while but just not had time to put any any you know audio to it because I've been busy doing you know I've been busy and haven't had a chance to record the audio for it yet and so this video will be uploaded a lot later than I would have wanted to because I recorded it a while ago just didn't get a chance to play it. And so, yeah, that was my bad. Also, I'm looking to stream sometime in the next couple of days, hopefully. That would be optimal for me. That would be ideal, I think. And we're still waiting on, like, finding a time for Andrew and I to be able to play our user game again. So that's, we're still waiting for that. But we're coming in at shooting guard here. With about four minutes left in the first quarter, and we are down by three. And so we are getting our first ever NBA action here. Let's see what we can do with it. As Evan is going to pass this the ball, we're looking, trying to throw it, or trying to pass it to someone. He'll pass it to John Wall, and he's going to take a three and miss it. And so our first possession. And our first NBA action leads to nothing, really. And oh, our defense was nowhere to be found, and they're going to make us pay with a put-back dunk. Okay, it's going to be like that, I see. Now we're down 17-11 to 11 with about a minute left in the first quarter. We're going to take the ball. We're going to try driving into the lane. We're going to shoot it. And there's our first basket as an NBA player, our first career points. And then we get taken out shortly after. And we come back in with about two and a half minutes left in the second quarter. We are down 36 to 33 right now. And we are subbed in at point guard. And so, you know, it's time to try and get the assists piled up here. And that was a nice little lay-in, but I do not think we got the assist there, and that'll take us to halftime as we are down four. And you can see the top performers here in the first half, John Wall for us, and, you know, their guy had like 12 points, something like that. He was doing well. As we're going to take a look at some of the scores around the NBA. The Bobcats get blown out, so do the 76ers. Their leading score only had like 18 points. Elsewhere, I don't know, there aren't really any big upsets except the Spurs are losing to Milwaukee by 4. That's a little surprising. And the Knicks are beating the Heat by 10. But we're going to start the third quarter here, sitting out, and then we come in with about four minutes to go, 4.15 to go in the third quarter. And we're down by seven now. Trying to showcase our defense, and maybe there we're showing why we're not, you know, a starter, because we're not very good at defense is a problem. Right there, we're going to get our first career assist. Keep us down 7, 60 to 53 with about three minutes to go. Now we're down 62 to 53. Let's see if we can 
mount this comeback and get a win in our NBA debut. Um, I'm looking, trying to get more assists, and there will be another one right there. Our second assist of the game. Now we're down 62-55. to 55. We're making a little bit of a comeback. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to throw it, pass it underneath, and get my third assist of the game. As Blatch is going to lay that one in. So we got two points, three assists. And we're going to try a shot right there and miss it. We drove into the lane. I was feeling pretty good about our chances, but we just missed it. And then we're, on the other end, we're going to try and take a long heave as the quarter is coming to an end. And we sit out the entire fourth quarter and lose by five. Okay. So we're going to get 718 points. They say our performance was poor. And we lose 100 points because we lost. Well, let's go to our press conference. And I'm going to say now as I'm going, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to like edit and commentate these types of videos. So any feedback you guys have in the comment sec, or any feedback you guys have, uh, leave a comment, you know, and so that way I have suggestions for how to improve either the editing or the you know, the recordings, or the audio style, or both, like, do you want it more as, like, you know, I'm commentating it, or do you want it more as what I do for, like, Tiger Woods, and for Road to, Road to Glory, where I do just, like, I don't know, or, like, the live streams where I do sort of, like, a live commentary, and I'm saying, all right, we've got this, we're doing this, like, I don't know, what do you guys like more, so... Just any suggestions you have for improving, I would greatly appreciate it. Just leave a comment, and I will definitely be sure to look at it. As we're getting ready for our second game here against Orlando. And our objectives are to draw at least one foul, finish with the C-plus teammate grade or better, and force the matchup to commit at least a turnover. But we're at home again. We're 0 and 1. Orlando's 1 and 1. As you can see, the starting lineups right there. Again, we're not even close, really. I think we're like seventh or eighth in the rotation right now. So it's gonna be a nice little climb up the death chart, trying to get more minutes. But you know, that's what that's what will make this fun when you don't start right away and you really do have to start like on the bench like a lot of NBA players do. Unless you're taking the lottery, which we were not. But our first... Uh, we must have come in and not done anything because now all of a sudden we skipped that and we're coming back in up by 20 with about 2.40 to go here in the in the uh, first half, and we're going to get the offensive rebound on a miss. We're not going to get the putback, but we do draw a foul, and so we're going to the free throw line for the first time. Already up by 20. The teammates have come out and put in some work for us. That's something I like to see. Now, let's see how we do at the free throw line for the first time in our career. As we're going to make the first one. Our feedback was it was slightly early, but we still switched it. So, you know, that's pretty good. And we're going to try to make the second. And, yeah, we had 0% right there. So that was just terrible and an easy miss right there. Now we're up by 23, or 22 rather. And... Yeah, I done goofed as I'm trying to get the steal, trying to get that turnover, and instead I have this stupid reach and foul. Like, what the heck, dude? What are you doing? So as we're going to go to halftime, we're going to see the first half stats and the key performers. 
Uh, it's big men for both teams as Dwight Howard's got 12 points, 5 rebounds, and JaVale McGee is our leading performer right now. We're going to get back into the game. And again, not do much of anything. I think we had a turnover and exited the game very quickly after that. And so we're going to get back in, only up by 10, with about 4 minutes to go in the 4th. And then we're going to get taken out again after that. And yeah, that was just a very forgettable game. I didn't really do anything positively except for, you know... I had that one offensive rebound, and I made one of two free throws, but other than that, it was not very good. And so they ask us, do we see that win coming? And I'm going to do, I think I chose the, like, you never know, but we felt good because, you know, we're a good team, maybe. Maybe we're not, I don't know. I've only been here for two games, but I'm pretty sure I chose the, well, you never like to... You know, count a game one before it's over. You know, just... Yeah, take it a game at a time. You know, never assume anything. And see, so, yeah, I would say, I wouldn't, assume, I wouldn't say that in the NBA. You're always facing good competition. But, you know, we felt good because... I don't know, we had a good practice the game before or something. I don't really know why. But we are going to... And this episode sort of by looking at skill upgrades here. I decided like I'm going to save my skill points for the end of each episode to do all the upgrading. And so we're going to upgrade our shot inside. Try and get it more on par with shot close and shot medium. I just feel like that would be helpful. And I think eventually we want to try and get our three-point shot up as that's really our only shooting ability, not up to a 70 yet, except maybe shooting in traffic. I don't know. Uh, you can see I'm thinking about maybe taking off another one to try and get some more free throw at it. But I don't know. That looks... That looks good to me, so. I think, I don't know, we're going to put another one on offensive rebound, maybe. Or maybe not. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I know the audio was not very good, like the, but I just wanted to, honestly, I just wanted to get it out so that I could get this video uploaded and not keep waiting so uh, next video will be better, but that'll do it for me. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.